I'm I am Iris Iridescent, and this is my Let's Play. Uh, the game should be pretty obvious by now. Uh, we got turned back to normal. Yay for us! And now our real adventure is beginning. If I can get out of here. There we go. Well, it looks like the uh, mask has pretty much controlling the Skull Kid. I don't think an exorcist will help here. So we need to go and find out what Tail was talking about, because apparently that's a way to stop him, the four who were there. First things first, this is, a lot of, this, this is something that a lot of people, a mistake that a lot of people make. They don't, they overlook it. Well, it's, it's common knowledge by now, but I'm sure when it came out, a lot of people didn't know this. Uh, we need to slow down time by playing the Song of Time backwards. It only slows down time by one-eighth of a second, apparently. But trust me, that one-eighth makes all the difference in the world. Alright, so now we actually have more time to do stuff. And who is that that just... Did you guys see that? The guy that just disappeared in the corner? Um, let's go after him real quick. See if we can't catch him. I don't remember seeing him the last time. Oh, looks like he's already gone. As you can see, the fairy, the great fairy has been shattered again because we reset time. So let's go and help her out again. This time we actually can swim. Oh, there he is! Um, looks like he doesn't want to talk to us. But he's wearing an interesting mask. But I guess we can't really get his attention right now. Alright, so let's head back to um, North Park Town. I could have gone. I'm going the long way. I'm going the long way. Well, I'll cut on to the shortcut. Old habits die hard. And there's the kid again with the balloon, but. There's nothing we can do right now. Oh, great. That's creepy. <laughs> Alright, so we've got another mask, and it looks really creepy. Let's see what it looks like with... Ugh! Oh, some things are just not meant for mortal eyes. Speaking of things not meant for mortal eyes, whenever we put on this mask, we will have to see a sequence, and it gets creepier and creepier, but we only have to see it once, but we do have to see it that once. So, fair warning, 
this is a little freaky. Um, if you don't want creepy, I advise you to look away. You have been warned. <laughs> Fortunately, we only have to see that once and just once. And I wanted to get that out of the way. Alright, while we're here... I'm gonna go and um, get that piece of heart over there. And we'll go down here the fun way. We are. I could pop the balloon and do the bomber's quest again, but I think I'm going to do that off screen to save time. All we'll get is a notebook that will keep track of our side quests. So for now, I'm going to go down to uh, South Clock Town. Again, I should have taken the shortcut. Oh. Before I do that, this is really, really important. There. Now I can save! No, I'm not gonna save it just now. Plus, I got save states anyways. So let's leave. And the guard's blocking us again, but we've got a sword this time. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Now that we've got a proper weapon, we can head out and explore here. The big bird thing you saw there is a pain in the butt. Um, it'll steal your stuff if you get close to it, and the only option is to just run. Because they're just... They're, um... Yeah, they're too much of a pain to fight. These guys are not. Uh, as you can see, the guard kept us in here with good good reason because there's a lot of baddies out a lot of you know baddies out here that don't have our best interests at heart all right so let's get going towards the forest or the swamp as we found out that's an interesting little drawing
So apparently, the Skull Kid was always mischievous, and his friends had left him because of it. But he never did anything on this scale. And so these three were just a bunch of loners. You know, us against them kind of thing. It's really sad, actually. I felt sorry for them in that cutscene. Alright, we back to reality. Um, he's evil, we gotta stop him. So we got two paths here. And, as you can see, I'm being attacked. We can go down this way, which just leads to a minigame. Or we can go this way. We want to go this way. Sorry about that. Something had popped up and I had to make it go... I had to tell it to go away. Alright, so first things first. There's a big octo rock over there. It doesn't look very friendly. And the water... I don't know if you guys can see that. The, the water doesn't look very inviting. There's like a purplish goo around it. So... We don't really want to go over there. First thing is first. Let's go and... Hit this here. And let's go to this interesting looking building over here. There's a boat here. Maybe they give tours of some sort. There's, there's a piece of heart up there, but didn't look like we can get to it yet. Tourist information. Well, we could use some information. <laughs> pictograph. But we don't have a pictograph. Oh, that might that sounds fun. A free boat ride for taking a picture. So let's go and, uh... Doesn't look like there's anybody home. Hello? Magic Hag's Potion Shop. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, what? Anybody recognize that name? What, what? Um... I'm not sure I wanted to go to that potion shop, but, uh, sounds like we have to, but where, which way could it be? Well, we see some places here, and normal Link looks like he might sink those lily pads, but they're just perfect for big Link. So the fastest way across here is by hopping over. And we see something interesting here. Maybe this leads to the potion shop. Yep. Just run past these guys. Don't really feel like tangling with them. This is a very odd place to have a potion shop, really. Let's go check it out. I'm sure something interesting is in here. As, as it always is. Do you ever doubt? This Zelda game, of course, it's going to be interesting. Now, where have we heard that music?